Here are 40 brutal truths that I wish I knew about data engineering before entering that role. Data engineering sounds cool. We get it. Big salaries, remote job, hot tech. We get it. But the truth, most people have no idea what goes into the day-to-day -day life of a data engineer. My name is Chris Garzone. I'm the founder and CEO and run the day-to-day -day operations of Data Engineer Academy. I used to be a data engineer at Amazon and Lyft. I'm an angel investor in data companies, and I went from making 60 grand a year to making 450 grand a year within five years time. And now our mission at Data Engineer Academy is to upgrade the skills of current tech professionals to get into data-related roles and benefit from this AI and data boom. And in this video, I'm going to break down 40 brutal truths that I wish someone told me about working as a data engineer. If you are serious about this industry, you're gonna wanna hear this. The first thing you should know is you're gonna spend 80% of your time cleaning data. Now, some people might enjoy it, but some other people might like analyzing of the data, but in reality, you need to clean the data before you analyze the data. So that is something that you should know about. Number two, no one cares about perfect data because the business just needs to extract that data, go off and make a clear business decision. And because stakeholders want a faster result without understanding all the complexity that you have to go through, you won't actually get that credit that you do behind the scene. Another thing you should know is that legacy code is your worst enemy because you will have to figure out what the engineers before you built and that is always a headache. So how do you get around this? Well, you can always write clear documentation to make sure that you are doing the work that you wished another engineer would do. That way, another engineer would also give you clear documentation to avoid all that messy legacy code. One thing you should know is you have to be able to adapt. We had a student that got a job. The person thought it was going to be all about data modeling. Next thing you know, they were managing four different tools. They were managing Airflow here, an orchestration tool here. And all of a sudden, they were like, wait a second, this is not what I signed up for. The truth is, as a data engineer, you have to be ready to adapt because when the business needs something, you're going to have to go and figure out how to do it with whatever tool is available. And it might not be what you expected going into it. You're almost expected to know everything. That is another harsh truth of the data engineering world. Whether it's ML pipelines or ML ops or DevOps or some software engineering practice, you as a data engineer are almost in the circle and in the middle of all of these different roles. And so you actually have to figure out how a bunch of different roles operate. Another thing you should know about working as a data engineer is that imposter syndrome never goes away because the moment you start working on a new project, you're now dealing with new data that you've never seen before. You're dealing with a new tool that you've never seen before. And so you have to be able to adapt and learn very, very quickly because the business wants what the business wants and you're going to have to adapt or die. The other truth no one tells you is that you might think your job is about code and pipelines and data and all that good stuff. In reality, it's about communication because when you go and you try to get that promotion from your manager, they're going to ask you what have you done and if you haven't done a good job of articulating your impact the business impact specifically and what you've worked on then it's going to be really hard for you to get a promotion so communication matters from the start so that's the truth you won't actually grow if you can't communicate what you've done now tech skills might be able to get you through the door but soft skills are actually going to take you up the ladder so you need to be consistently selling yourself even if it's only to your manager and only on a one-to-one -one basis because they need to understand the work that you are doing have been doing and will be doing. The other truth about becoming a senior data engineer is that your job at some point becomes about teaching. You're going to have to mentor all the new students. You're going to have to mentor all the new engineers. You're going to have to mentor and teach the people on different company or different teams how you worked on this database, this data pipeline, so that they could potentially use you what the work that you've done. So it's actually a lot of teaching and it's a lot of knowledge transfer, which isn't always the sexiest thing. Some days your job is literally going to be Google mode or chat TPT mode. And what that means is that you're probably trying to debug something that just won't work. And for some reason, chat TPT can't even figure it out, but that's normal. Then you have to go and try to debug and figure out what happened and why it happened and try to figure out how to fix it. So be ready for that because what some days you will have worked all day and made zero progress. That's just part of building. You'll fall in love with data. You'll fall in love with tools. You'll fall in love with something at your work. And then one day it's gone. It gets deprecated. Why? Because the team just doesn't need it anymore. It becomes comes a cost. And so just get ready because not everything you touch is going to make it to production and not everything you touch is going to make it by the time you leave that company. So you'll see a lot of your work shelved or thrown away. And that's just part of the game. BI teams will always ask you for one more column. That is another thing you have to be 
ready for. If you create a dashboard, they're going to be like, hey, can you create this one more thing, one more view, one more slice of the data? There will never be an end to the request for data because there's unlimited pieces of data. Another harsh truth you should know is that you're not going to end up using half of what you learn. All those Udemy courses, even the Data Engineer Academy Bootcamp or any master's or school, you're not going to use half of what you learn. That's just how it works. And by the way, it also worked the same way when you went to college, when you went to middle school, when you went to high school and wherever you are currently in your career and whatever book it is you're reading. So just be ready for that. You're not going to use everything you learn. So comment below. What's one harsh, brutal truth that you've had to endure in the last five or 10 years of your tech career? And what is one engineering tool that you are currently using that we should potentially put in our curriculum? And if you're serious about your career, go ahead and subscribe to this channel because we're going to start coming out with videos on AI and we've already launched our AI pathway. And so go check it out at dataengineeracademy.com. But for now, follow, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the other video.